Hi everybody, it's your girl Bella and I'm coming to you from my room. So I switched it. The light is coming this way so we're dealing with natural lighting as opposed to regular, the sconce that's on my wall. But anyway, I wanted to come to you and let you know what did you think. I really had a question. What was your take on Love & Hip Hop Season 4 here in New York? Um, Yandy, boo hoo, wah wah wah. It's happening in your world. But people in the real world who are going through this, you know, you don't hear that. It's not like I don't feel for you because I do feel for you and your heartache. But you know what? Before you had a baby and before you, you took on this challenge, you should have asked them, is your past going to come back and haunt you? I'm just saying, take it as a move. Take it how you will. You know he's locked up. He ain't coming out no time soon. What you want is what everybody else wants. is for their baby daddy to be home and be a family man. I'm just saying. Okay, so what else is there? This thing with Amina Butterfly and Rich and um, Pete. Oh my gosh. I mean, what do you say about that one? She's married to him. She's legally married to him, supposedly. And how is it? that you, Pete, decided to cross the lines with your artist and have an affair with her or continue this this relationship and you marry her, okay? Because we still haven't found out whether she's legally married. She has it tattooed and she shows, you know, according to the preview, she's showing Tara that she is legally married to this dude. But how did you you have a relationship with Tara for over 13 years. You have two children together. She's been there by your side, yet and still you marry another chick that you've been dealing with for a year. It just doesn't make sense. And what are you showing your baby boys? What are you showing your boys? That it's okay to be a knucklehead? That it's okay to be stupid? That it's okay to have your baby mama who you don't marry but you screw and marry somebody else? I, I'm just not understanding that logic. I mean, a butterfly has a beautiful voice. And she came from the group Black Butterfly. But, is that correct? <laughs> um, but at the same time, I'm just trying to wrap my hands around this and I can't that's the total disrespect and I'm sorry the minute your intuition came off that she was when you saw that picture on the phone from Instagram that this chick the artist was lying on your man's chest that it's over and done with it is over you have to pack up your stuff and go I'm not even gonna try to figure this one out my intuition is telling me so it's all the proof right there I don't want to be bothered with this anymore and I would just bust your ass for child support that is it I'm taking for you for what you got because there's no way you're gonna play me live on TV okay I, I'm just saying we know that some of this stuff is always made up or there's issues out there it's like a little bit exaggerated but at this point in time when there's children involved I don't think so and what does he remind you of another Stevie J yes he reminds you of a New York version of Stevie J but the, the you see my cat right there what kills me is was that Pete stepped to Rich two seasons ago about his relationship with Erica and he wouldn't sign her he didn't want to have no part in this so how is it that you want your boy you want Rich Dollars to sign your artist that you are having an affair with okay that you have a relationship with that basically you have two women that you're dealing with and you want him to sign the pot calling the kettle black but this is worse not only do you have a baby mama with two kids you done up the marriage your artist. Instead of focusing on her voice, because that's supposed to be a money maker, you focusing on how she looks. I'm, again, hello ladies, tell me whether or not we're bugging out here. That was some skanky shit that happened on Love & Hip Hop. And I can't wait till Monday coming to see what's going down because Listen, I was writing everything down in the little blue book. I was taking notes. And I was just like, what the hell is going on? Like, really? This is some serious drama to start off with. Oh, and then, you know, I got into watching um, Chrissy and Mr. Jones. And right away, I turned it off. I was turned off completely. You didn't even 
ask Chrissy if your son could spend the summer. How does she feel about this? Which I know that's your son and you want to spend time with him. But you didn't even sit there and talk with her prior to. You just say he's coming to live with us for two months for the whole summer. And then you expect for her to get up in the morning and pick up the slack and be mom. That's not even your wife. Are y'all legally married yet? From the last time we saw things, y'all were engaged. Did you finally legalize this union? And you know what? When you cohabitate, you have to communicate. So at what point did you bring this up to her with the idea and how does she feel about this? And how you can work it out. How about bringing him over on the weekend so your son can establish a relationship, a rapport with this lady that you're sharing your life with? I'm just saying, you just drop you just drop a bomb on me and I'm supposed to accept it. Then I have to wake up in the morning and take care of this little boy. I'm just not understanding that. But I will be back another day so we could talk some more about it. Bye.